The New Patriotic Party closing uh, nominations for parliamentary candidates who are vying to represent the party on the tickets of the uh, NPP in December, I mean in December on the 7th when we go to the polls uh, for that major election that we are all looking forward to. Evans Namako is the Director of Elections, Research and Elections for the New Patriotic Party and uh, has joined us on the line to help us understand what he makes of the current developments uh, following the opening of nominations and then uh, the periods leading up to the closure. Mr. Namako, good evening if you can hear me. Good evening, Martin. I hope you're doing well. Very well, thank you. Um, what is your assessment, first of all, of the entire process, right from the time you announced and opened nominations up until the closure, which was yesterday, I believe? Thank you very much. Let me use this opportunity to reach your viewers across the world. I think for, for us as New Patriotic Party, the leadership is uh, very happy about development so far. I think that party uh, membership and then the constituency parliamentary elections committee uh, has comported itself very well. Uh, there were a few instances where some prospective uh, candidates could not secure forms, but arrangements have been made for them to secure forms either at the regional level or at the national secretary. But in some situations also, I mean, the usual of media practitioners, uh, some were able to give enough coverage of those uh, few instances where some of the aspirants could not secure forms at the time they, they, they needed it. And um, is it your understanding that um, almost all those who wanted to pick forms that could not get were able to get it before and fill it and submit before the closure? Yeah, I mean, yes, the arrangement made. I mean, this is the first time, if you followed our parliamentary uh, elections internally, this is the first time the leadership uh, opened the nomination for 30 days. I mean, in view of the fact that that's the... the, the, the the dictates of the party's constitution. So uh, it's been complied as such. I think that all those who uh, managed to secure uh, the forms have been able to file for their respective constituency parliamentary elections committee or at the regional secretary. Some few people were also able to file at the national secretary. And mm -hmm. if you are also aware, yesterday the president, Mr. Nanado Danko Kufuado, I uh, was able to successfully file his nomination form. And uh, he being the only person who picked forms and filed for the presidential primaries, became the sole candidate. Right. So leadership will make arrangements uh, for veterans to be conducted. And then on the 25th of April 2020, uh, acclamation will be done for him across the constituency. The major talking point from, you know, the entire process has been um, the fallout of uh, the confusion, the chaos that were recorded in some parts of the country, in some, some constituencies. What does the party make of this and how do you intend unifying the, you know, the, 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 the opposing um, parties ahead of, um, you know, the, the, the polls? Uh, Martin, this whole process, uh, the constituency delegate conference and its processes is taking place in 168 constituencies. It's supposed to be 169, but it's been done in 168, in view of the fact that uh, I also was born is exempted. And so, uh, for you, you may think that few incidents of some people not able to secure forms or not able to file will mean that there are some challenges here and there. Human institution assets Leadership has tagged the regional secretary to bring the report necessary to cover all such incidences. And at the appropriate time, uh, decisions will be made, and those who have to be sanctioned, leadership will not hesitate. Because the rules of engagement were clear, and we expected that each stakeholder will comply, mm. the rules of, comply with the rules of engagement. Right. Yes, in a situation where some people were denied for want of uh, unavailability of form, we'll be looking into uh, inability of some uh, prospective aspirants not to file their uh, nomination forms, and uh, the use of some media people to create unnecessary tensions mm. will also be looked into. Okay. The, the, the rules of engagement were clear, 
it has been stated that if you are unable to secure forms at the constituency level, move on to the regional level and to national level. Right. But some people would needlessly engage other people to create the impression that the, there were a certain chaotic situation across the... Yes, we experienced some uh, uh, exchanges of uh, blows in Mampong, mm. and the leadership has attacked the regional party to submit the report for us to look into it. Okay, and finally, we know 25th April is the day of the, of, of the voting. But before then, what can you tell us about the timetable leading up to the? What else is expected uh, ahead of that? When is vetting, etc.? Thank you. The arrangement is that now the Constituency Executive Committee and Regional Executive Committee are supposed to endorse the forms of each of the prospective aspirants, after which the forms will be forwarded to the National Secretary for General Secretary, Mr. John Buedu, to also endorse the forms. And then, a vetting will start from 28th of this month and ends on uh, 8th of March 2020. Okay. When vetting is done, a report will be submitted, and then a, a room has been made for people who may feel agreed to submit petition to the National Parliamentary Appeals Committee, chaired by Mr. Peter McMenu, assisted by Honorable Dr. Kwame Adokufo, oh. Honorable S.K. Boafo, and others. So when appeals is done, a report will be forwarded to the National Executive Committee, after which the party will issue out notice of polls, mm. and then elections will be held on the 25th April 2020. So these are the issues, engagement that is supposed to be held. The party is also in the process of informing the electoral commission who will help supervise the conduct of the elections during the extraordinary constituency delegate conference. So okay. these are laid down timelines, arrangements leading to the extraordinary constituency delegate conference. In okay. case of the, the presidential primaries, what we okay. do is that there's supposed to be national congress. But in view of the large numbers of the delegates, mm -hmm. it's been decentralized. So in each of the constituency centers, there will be national congress to acclaim the presidential candidate. Candidate. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for making time to speak to us this evening, um, Evans Namako. Pleasure talking to you. He is the Director of Research and Elections for the New Patriotic Party.